Hi, and welcome to week 13 of your uh, PB exercise classes online. Um, we're going to do a lot of mat based, floor based stuff today. So, just um, either use your bed or the floor, whatever's, whatever's easiest for you. Um, and we're going to start just with a little warm up. We're going to move through a few different sort of positions um, and then repeat it. Um, so, if you have to sort of follow me, you might need to pause it. Okay, so we're going to start stood up and we're going to work our way down to the floor. Um, so first off, just a big stretch up, as high as you can, really push those arms up to the ceiling. Big stretch up, hold it, and then we're going to turn sideways for this, but you can do it how you like, and we're going to come down into that position. We're going to work down onto one knee, and then from there, we're going to put one hand down there, and rotate up and out for a big stretch. Trying to keep your balance. If you need something to hold on to, hold on to something. And then I'm going to swap one there and rotate around the other way. Big stretch up, try and keep your balance. Back down. Big reach up in that position. Really try and get that hand pointing to the ceiling. So it's just going to be really good for sort of trunk mobility, but also balance. Big stretch up. You want to hold those for about 10 to 15. And you're going to swap sides. In that position, it's the same thing. So you can reach down to your foot with one hand. If you can't reach for your foot, you put your hand down here to open up onto the floor. Hold that for about 10 to 15. And switch. one more each side, so either hold your foot or hold the floor. If you can get across to your foot, it's a bit harder on your balance. You can try and let that knee roll out here, try and keep it in the middle. Swap. Really big stretch, really rotate through your back. From there, hands to the floor, and you're going to go up into a downward dog position. So you're going to tuck those toes underneath you, drive through those legs, and push those heels down to the floor. Just give them a bit of a pump. You should feel a stretch through your calf muscles mostly. Twenty or so of those pumps. Really give those calves a little stretch. And we're going to come down into all fours into that position. I'm just going to repeat that once more. Up again. Good stretch. You could move a bit closer if you need a bit more of a stretch. And we've done about 20 or so of those. Slowly down. Get yourself into a comfortable position in, in, on all fours. And then second to last exercise, we're gonna twist, slide that arm through one way. And then again, up and out. Really grow through that shoulder that you've got planted on the floor. Down. 
altında Start up here and then come down into that position. Or if you don't want to bring your hands right up, your hips right up, you can just go straight down. Try and stay on your arms for a stretch. If you can't stay on your arms, you can come down onto your elbows in that position. And just hold that for about 20 seconds or so. Stretch right up through your, your tummy and across your front. Come. Into all fours and round into sitting, and that's your warm up. Okay, well done. On to your first exercise. So we're going to stay on the mat. Um, this might be a bit tricky if you've got any knee replacements, um, so you might have to try some of these um, in standing, in like a squat position. So I'll show you the, the exercise first. Um, so onto, onto your knees, I'll, I'll show you sideways and what you're going to work on is starting up nice and straight, coming back onto your heels as far as you can and then up again into that position, okay? If that's quite easy you can add in arms out in front and sit back, keep those arms forward. You can add weight to that as well so you can hold on to weights in that position. Okay. If that's too difficult for your knees, you can just work on doing a few sort of squats up and down. It's a similar sort of exercise. Um, it's just this one's focusing a bit more on your hips and taking your sort of feet out of the equation. Okay, so we're going to go for a couple of minutes um, from now. So you're going to go down as far as you can, just for the stretch to the front of your thighs, and then up. Make sure when you come up, you come up as tall as you can, shoulders back. Down and up. Down and up. And if you want to add more when you come up, you can bring those hands up above your head. Give yourself a stretch through here. Down and up. So you're really stretching up nice and straight. Again, hold on to a weight to make that a bit harder. Down there. Try not to rest for too long on the way down. If you want to add some tension, if you've got an exercise band, you can add some tension in there. You can pull that band out nice and wide as you come up. So imagine I've got an exercise band. All, you should start to feel that in your hamstrings here, in your hips. Down, up. You can stretch up with those arms. If you want, you can add your PD Warrior concepts into this and you can go down. So you go down and up. Start to add a bit more effort into the movement. Down. Think about definite movements, definite finish points, definite start points. And pausing in between each one. A couple more. Down. Up. Down. Up. Excellent, that's two minutes. Well done. Okay, um, on to the next exercise and we're going to stay in kneeling and we're just going to work on a little bit of balance and a little bit of stability through your hips. So again, trying to keep up nice and straight. We're going to practice moving if we can into that position and back down again and then alternating legs nice and smoothly. Okay, if you want something to hold on to, have something to hold on to, 
Um, if this is too difficult for you, you can just practice doing a bit of a lunge in these positions. Okay, there's something to hold on to if you need to, if it's too much for your knees. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead with this one. So we'll start nice and simply and we can lay it and add a few bits as we go along. So we're gonna go for a couple of minutes, starting from now. So up, keeping your chest up nice and straight, working on your balance. Take your time with it, don't rush through. Nice and smooth movements. Try and come straight through there rather than coming out of the round like that. Okay, so straight through if you can in that position. And then what you can do is when you come to there, similar sort of thing, you can add up to stretch up and down. some rotation away. So there, you rotate, back down, and there, rotate in that position there, okay? So depending on how difficult you want to make it, adding in a few different movements just helps to challenge your balance a bit more. It's also helping you get on and off the floor. This is one of the steps to getting on and off the floor. If you don't want to rotate, as I said, you can big stretch up in that position. Make sure you've got something soft under your knees because it's quite hard. It can be quite hard on your knees this one. Try and keep that back straight. So try not to fold here and keep yourself up there. A couple more. Last two minutes, well done. Okay, on to the next one. So we're gonna work down just into lying for this one. So lying on your back, with your knees bent up. Just gonna set the weight because of the sun. <laughs> so lying on your back with your knees bent up, and you're gonna start with your arms out nice and wide, in like a T position. You're just gonna practice rolling on knees. From side to side, give yourself a good stretch in that position. Try and get your knees as far as you can each way. Try and keep them together. So try not to let one do that. Try and keep them nice and together. Again, this is a bit of a segmental sort of movement for things like rolling over and getting out of bed. Um, which can be a bit tricky, so it's a good one to practice as a start point if you have difficulty rolling over. And even just doing a few of these before you need to roll over. If you want more of a stretch, bring those arms up a little bit higher, you should feel a stretch down through your chest and through your middle on the opposite side. Nice and slowly. If you want to make this a bit more difficult in your middle, what you can do is just have your feet slightly apart and tie a band around your knees and keep the tension on the band like that. And that just works your hips a little bit more in the same exercise. Feels just loosens up the back a little bit. Try and get as far down as you can. If you want to take that a little bit further as you come over, you can bring your hand over to there and back. 
just to get those arms involved. And that's how you be, be able to feel yourself sort of begin to roll. This is a good one. A good little extra one to practice if you've got difficulty rolling. Okay, a couple more. Lovely. And that is two minutes. Well done. Uh, on to the next one. So we're going to stay uh, lying on your back. And we're going to just do a little bit of core work along with some sort of dynamic stretching. So you can start with your hands behind your head and your knees bent up. You can either have them lifted off the floor or feet on the floor. Uh, lifted off the floor is obviously harder. And what you're going to do is you're going to straighten those arms out. So you're just behind your head. Keep your elbows and arms on the floor if you can. And you're going to push them up. As you push them up straight, you're going to straighten those legs. You can either rest them on the floor, so you can either slide them and rest them. Or if you're really feeling strong, you can straighten them out in that position. Okay? And then we're going to work from bent to straight. So when your knees are bent up, your hands come back down. And you're going to straighten those legs out, arms out straight. And repeat. Slide those feet up in that position. Try and keep your arms on the floor. And we're going to go again for two minutes. So from now, so slide those arms straight. Keep them on the floor if you can. Straighten those legs. And then back again. Hands behind your head. If you can, keep your legs off the floor. If not, putting them on the floor is fine. Straighten them out in that position. Back up again. If that's still too much, you can just do one leg at a time. You can still come in and just do one and back in. See how you find it. Okay. Straighten those arms, legs out straight. Back in again. Hold it there. Straighten those arms. And back in again. Okay. Push those arms right out. Those legs as straight as you can. Back in again. Keep those elbows on the floor if you can. Try not to have them up here. Again, push straight. Back in again. Push straight. Back in again. Again. Tummy muscles. It's also just a nice good stretch to get that body moving. Get those shoulders stretched as well, just to get your middle working a bit. And one more. Big stretch. Back up and down. That's two minutes. Well done. Okay guys, moving on and staying on your back again. Um, we're going to stick with a similar sort of exercise, um, but we're just going to work on working across your body a little bit more. We're going to try and add a bit, little bit of speed into this, think about that sort of 80% effort. Okay, so we're going to start ideally straight. And you're going to bring one hand to one knee and back down again. shoulders a little bit to work on your tummy and then come back down okay we're going to do for two minutes you can add some weight to this if you want um, and if you want to start to sort of move a bit sort of quicker and put some power into that when you get used to it okay we're going to start for a couple of minutes from now so one two try and lift the shoulder that you're moving and try and keep the other one down about those movements. So I'm going to work on a bit of speed. 
speed when you're ready, so as quick as you can, hold it, and then as quick as you can back down, so it's both directions. Quick as you can up, hold it, quick as you can down. So make sure you have a definite finish point. It's nice and controlled. As you can up, quick as you can down. So this is that opposite arm physical leg work that we do in standing, we're just having a little go at it, lying down, making sure that those elbows are straight, his hands are open. Okay, if you want, you can add weight in your hands. Speed, so speed, pause for two, down again. Pause for two, down again. Make sure you get equal power through your hand and arm as you are through your leg. Standing, so try and give yourself a bit more power. A few more for me. Excellent, and that is your two minutes. Lovely, we're going to stay on the mat again for um, another one and we're just going to change over and go on to our front this time. Okay. So, into your front. If it's a bit much for your back, you can pop a pillow just under your hips. Okay, then we're going to start with our hands down here, with our palms facing up. And we're going to bring them out, turn those palms down, come up. And back down again. So again, you keep your head, try and keep your head pointing down to the floor. And again, you can add some weight to this if you need. So head down, arms up. Try and make sure those arms aren't touching the floor. Back down, if you can do it without holding on, without resting down here, then do. Shoulders back as far as you can, try not to have them resting down here. We'll go for a couple of minutes, okay? On now. So, shoulders back, lift up if you can, arms up, big stretch, down, down. If you want to rest in between, you can. back, it's harder if you don't rest in between, Pause, make sure you've got the most out of the movement. So when you finish, make sure you again get the most extension you can out of those elbows. Don't really stretch. If you can only get to here, then you can only get your hand out straight like that, and then touching the floor, that's fine, it's a good stretch. But if you can keep them off the floor, then that's good. And there, shoulders back. Stretch up. Again, 
this is a good strengthening one for all the muscles in the middle of your back. Also a good stretch down through your chest. exercise okay so we're just gonna stay sort of on our front and we're just gonna do some mountain climbers okay so you can either do these and so ideally you'd be doing these in this position that's too much just work in this position and work back it's too much to hold yourself up okay and we're gonna go for two minutes ready off we go. Try and keep your back nice and flat. If you need a break at any point, you can just come back down. Really try and pull up as high as you can. Drive that back leg straight, try not to let it sag. Okay? Straight as well. If it's quite difficult for two minutes, do sort of 20, then come down, have a little rest, and go again. Um, and like I said before, if it's too difficult to keep you doing that, just work on this exercise instead, which is the reverse, so it's slightly different, but Don't have to go so quickly, you can take your time with it, have a little rest if you need to, um, and uh, yeah, move a, bit, move a bit slower. Aim to sort of do 20 or so. Have a rest. Just two minutes is a long time doing mountain climbers. Try and keep your back nice and straight when you're doing them. Just going to do a few more. Please know this is your last exercise. Okay, and down. And that's your two minutes. Well done. Okay, well done. We're just going to do a few stretches just to finish off. So we'll keep with the, the theme of staying on the floor. Um, and we're just going to do a few stretches you're probably already familiar with. So we're going to move into this position. We're going to walk our hands forward into that prayer stretch to really. Stretch your chest, try not to fold too much. Try and keep your head up because it will give you the upper back a bit more of a stretch in that position. Just really try and push those arms out for me. I'm going to hold that for about 20 seconds or so. And what we're going to do is just walk our hands around from there. This way. Not all the way around, as far as you can, just a little bit. Just to about nine or ten o'clock, ten o'clock probably. Hold that up to the middle. Hold that. You should feel a 
the stretch down the outside of your arm, down your side here. Middle. Just reset yourself if you need to. We're going to do one more round of those. So walk those hands as far forward as they can. Head and chest up, you should feel a stretch down both sides of your back. I'm going to hold that for about 20 seconds or so. Go around to your left. Going to about sort of 10 or 11 o'clock. Doesn't have to be all the way around. Just so you feel a bit of a stretch down your side. When you're there, we're going to just come onto our backs and just do a little stretch into some rotation. That's a final stretch, so one leg out straight. Be careful of this if you've had a hip replacement, um, it might not be one for you. One arm out straight, pull that knee across you. In that position through your lower back, through your hip. Shoulder, lap down. You should feel the stretch right through here, right through your hip, through your lower back. Hold that for about 20 seconds or so. We're going to come back to the middle. I'm going to repeat the other side. Palm out straight. Legs straight, just a good stretch across. Somebody might be doing better than me in getting your legs to the floor. <laughs> So, just do one more each side, leg straight, pull across, hold that for a count of 20. Slowly sit yourself up, and that is your that is your exercise class for today. Well done.